upstairs to turn the open sign on. You could definitely feel a presence or something in there, hands on their shoulders. And I've had that happen to me as well. And just felt like somebody did not want us in this building. That's how we pretty much knew something was here or some things were here. We all jumped up. I ran to the back door to see if anyone came through the back door. No one's in the building. Are you telling us that that's the feeling you get when there's people here in your building? Look at this! Do you see this? Whoa. Going to two. This is amazing. Please cleanse this place. Clean it up because we don't want to leave our building. No, you did not touch that door. I swear to God, I you did not touch that I swear to God, I did. I swear on everything. I saw oh, it with my eyes. I got that. No way. Now, you guys are here and they don't want that. Oh my. Oh my. Devil. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Jim could have sworn that he heard something bumping around up here. Okay, so the Larimer family had contacted us. They need our help. And it's been a while since we've done a family investigation. A couple of things that we do know about this building is that it is over 100 years old, so there could be any potential spirit that either moved themselves in or somebody passed away in the building to where their spirit was left behind. The information that they had given us is that they moved their company into the building in 2021, and they've been dealing with odd activity ever since. Uh, downstairs probably about three months ago, me and my girlfriend and her sister were cooking in the uh, kitchen down below. Uh -huh. And we sat down and started eating at that first one. It's like, you're looking in. We heard plain as day, hello. We all jumped up. I ran to the back door to see if anyone came through the back door. No one's in the building, nothing. When did all these hauntings start? Like when you guys just moved into the place or? I only came here about probably about March, but everyone's always had a really creepy feeling about upstairs. Do we know of any like death? history that may Not have happened that I'm here. aware of. Ben might know better than me, but as far as I know, it's just an old building with that's just kind of everyone has creeps about. It was abandoned for a while before the company moved in. Is yeah. that correct? Typically when a uh, place is abandoned, that's usually when something frustrated, more evil, will move themselves in because it's an unclaimed building. If that's the case, if there were no deaths here, that could be what you guys are dealing with. Something more on the negative side. You know, now, you guys are here and they don't like that. That could potentially be what you guys are dealing with right now. What we can do is get Ben on the phone and see what he, you know, says so that we know for sure what he wants. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. What was your name again? Spencer. Spencer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. My name is Ben Larimer, and I am an owner partner of Cocos on Main in Gardnerville, Nevada. We took over this building in 2021 in March. There's always been things going on here, and electrical, uh, we've lost things, we've lost circuits. At that time, we really didn't think anything of it, but as things started going wrong, that's why we got in touch with you guys. A lot of the employees that he has working there with him and him and his wife himself have had a lot of super weird experiences there, most of them being down in the kitchen and in the upstairs. Now, everything in the kitchen seems to shut off and anything electrical doesn't really work right. So bad to the point where sometimes they have to close down the business and they can't be running for the day. Almost like they're trying to you know, be pushed out. Whoa, it's that bad? Mm -hmm. When I walk into the kitchen, and especially into the furnace room, uh, where our two heaters exist, you can definitely feel a presence or something in there, uh, especially going up to the second floor. We weren't quite exactly sure about something being here, but we had the feeling that it was. And, you know, always getting those goosebumps, and as I say, the hair is on the back of your neck going up. We've had team members feel hands on their shoulders when they go upstairs to turn the open sign on. And I've had that happen to me as well and we've experienced things from you know the obvious to is that a coincidence and you know pretty much when they continue happening you know it's the obvious and you know the spirits are existing in the building whether it's downstairs or upstairs and so due to how old the building is being 126 years old and things continuously happening and it just felt like somebody did not want us in this building the upstairs 
as far as we know at one point in time was somewhat of a bordello or a brothel, a hotel, maybe like a private residence. Every time we do anything here in like town or you know somewhere close to here, we're always dealing with some brothel stuff, man. Dude, Nevada, bro. <laughs> they just <laughs> they these ghosts get are enough. just dude. They're just horny. So there's like potential for all kinds of spirits, especially too. It was abandoned at one time. More or less, I'm wondering why when any of the employees have to go upstairs to go turn the open sign on. I'm just kind of curious on why those employees are so terrified of being up there. I mean, yeah, they say that things happen to them every time they do go up there is so evil. When you leave the building, you look up in the window and you're, you're thinking, you know, who am I going to see? What am I going to see? But it was more or less, you know, the supernatural aspect where you're walking upstairs and you feel that breeze or you smell that certain cologne. You feel those touch on your on your shoulders. And so that's how we pretty much knew something was here or some things were here. Come in, please cleanse this place, clean it up because we don't want to leave our building. The weird thing is, is that this building has been open for six to seven years. And so when we opened it, we definitely knew that we disturbed something. I mean, the only way we'll find out is if we go, right? Yeah, I really hope we can cleanse this place and help this family out because guys, we're back. This is season two of helping families. We're doing things a whole lot different and we're going to try our best. I'm I'm not saying that, you know, we promise that this is gonna help them or not, but we're kind of their last option. I mean, the guy sounded very adamant in getting us in there for help. I think all that is needed to be done is to hop in the car, go over there, and start the investigation, see what we can come up with. But before we do that, guys, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel and keep finding yourselves coming back, please give us the chance. I'm sure you're gonna love everything that we do. If not, still give us a chance, and if you don't, you can unsubscribe. Hit that subscribe button and like the video because welcome to a family nightmare season two. Okay, we are here at a family run business where a family had contacted us in need of our help. So we are here, boys. It has been a long time coming. Family investigations back up. Ooh. Been a while. I know, I, I feel like the last one that we did was like pretty crazy, so it took us a while to actually find out if we're ready for this ourselves. But we got Skylar here, guys. This is our little brother, if you don't know yet. He wants to find out what we uh, are gonna do tonight. We're gonna make him do the cleansing too. I'm gonna do the cleansing. I feel like he's more cleansed than we are, you know? <laughs> yeah. So like, I think it'd be best if you did the cleansing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bringing somebody a little bit more pure. With that being said, we are very thankful because we haven't done one of these investigations in quite a while and we do get quite a lot of emails asking for our help and we just needed some time because when you do these family investigations, a lot of emotions kind of just hit all of us at once, not only you know, are the families in need? We have so much pressure on our own shoulders because we take these investigations and we try our best to rid any of the evil or the spirits that are just unwanted in these people's homes or businesses. We got a couple of ideas on how we should hit this investigation tonight. So let's go. We were brought to this building by a family in need. I'm calling to any of the spirits who are still here in this building, the hotel upstairs, whoever you are, we are here to have a conversation and find out what is going on. We're trying to find out why you're upset and why you're trying to get these people out of this building. We're going to be here for a couple of hours. We brought all kinds of devices, objects, whatever you see them as. And they were specially made just for you to show us that you're here or use your voice. So with that being said, I have this device here in my hand that I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how this one works. And if you can, just give us a sign that you are here. Give us a sign that you understand what we're saying. I'm going to go ahead and set this probably right here. I'm just curious. We'll go ahead and start with this. I set it here on this chair. If you see us, if you hear us, all I'd like you to do is go up to this red light. Go to this metal antenna, get close to it. It'll start to make noises and it'll also start to light up different colors. Over there. Yeah, what was that? that sounded like metal. Metal? Yeah. That's a hard grab. Can you do that again, please? Whoa. 
Make yourself known. What is going on with your light? Why is your light flickering? Isn't that fully charged? Yeah. Whoa! Is it broken? Works fine on. Oh! I caught it, I caught it. I want to start with this other device as well. This one gives you... Did you see it? Whoa, it just that didn't blinked. even make a noise. No. I'm going to approach you a little bit. This device here in my hand, this phone, whatever you see it as, you can use your words. So what I'm going to do is set it here at the edge of the table, and I want you to just walk up to it, use any word you'd like, or a sentence. Maybe you can let us know what you are, who you are, and how you got here. We're just trying to find out because the people who work here and the owners of this building now feel like you don't want them here. You keep shutting off their equipment and making them feel unsafe. So if you can, please walk up to this and talk. Is it still doing it? Yeah, what's going on, man? Now it's different. That's not dying. That doesn't mean it's dying. No, no this is... It's like it switched modes. It's fine on the other one. If it makes you feel any better and more comfortable, I'd like to introduce the four of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. My name is Skyler. And my name is River. Whoa! What was that? Is that upstairs? Wait, was that the ball? I don't know. Where's the ball? This way? Ball. That way. Listen. Listen! Listen! Wait. That was the ball. That had to be the ball. No. No, the ball's this way. Dude, my arm. <laughs> Holy shit. No. Whoa! Were they right behind? They were just right behind Skyler. Keep going. Keep Whoa. going! <laughs> oh shit. I hear. That's uneasy, dude. Was that you right there? Can you touch that right now, please? Show us that you understand what we're saying. Okay, so I that's good news. I didn't activate it as, as I was walking by. I put Here, my hands in my pockets. I want, I want you walk to walk it, right by it. Retrace your steps, exactly. I don't know if REM pods do that. No? Okay, no. that was really weird. Is that you right there? Can you answer on the device right on the table, please? So a lot of the activity... Granddad. Granddad? Keep that in mind. We'll talk to Ben about that. Can you give us a name? Whoever's here. We're just trying to find out and make sense of all this. The owner here, Ben. Hall. Hall. Wait. Or Ball. It said Hall. Hall. Why? I think it's time. Time for what? Okay. Why? I'm just gonna show. Okay. Ben sent me a message earlier. Wait. Said, what? Listen. Ben sent me a message earlier. He said, hey, by the way, there's this thing. And if you guys can find a way in there, I think it used to be an old speakeasy. Behind there, there's a hole in this wall into an empty space. He said that we should go in and find out what it is. Yeah, let's do it. Careful. You guys think that Whoa, this is what listen. they're talking about? The thing is still going off in there. Are you talking about this hole? Is this why you're here? Footsteps that way? Yeah. Okay, dude, this is actually, uh, it's just underneath the stairs. Oh. This is actually kind of weird. There's only one boot in here. Hey. It just said hate. Oh, what? Are you telling us that that's the feeling you get when there's people here in your building? Is that what you're saying? I've got this device here. It'll sense your energy. If there's any way you could come over here, please, give us a sign that you understand. I hear, right on the stairs, movement, like slow footsteps. Oh, look, Wyatt, look at this. It just spiked to a one. Terrible. 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 
hate and terrible. Are you telling us how you feel? Can you please spike this device here? Look at this! Do you see this? Going to two. Can you do that again, please? Give us another sign. Dude! <laughs> this is amazing! It went all the way back up there. Can you see this without light? No, with it. Is there something you might want to tell us? Did you just... It just spiked to one. Thank you. Well, you understand what I'm saying, right? Did you hear that double thump? Did you guys just make a double thump? No. Hit. Hit! There it is. Did you hear that one? Yeah. Is there any way you can maybe spike that a little bit harder? I see you trying. If you need more energy, we've got all kinds of devices that you can use. As soon as I turn the corner, it starts going off. Are you in here? Do you hear that? That's above us. That is. That's on the stairs. If you're in here, spike that, please. Just touch it. Give it a quick tap. It sounded like it was upstairs. It felt like it was above us. Thank you. That was odd. That's you. There's a ball at the top of the stairs. Maybe you can knock that down. It's just a drain camera. It did. It just drain said, camera. And my light literally just came the back on. I just said if you guys need energy, we have all kinds of devices that you can gain that energy. How weird is it that they have such electrical problems here? And immediately upon filming, my light has been doing this. All of the other cameras That's have true. the same light and they're not doing it. I think what we should do is get back out. Yeah. See if we can get them to communicate with us some more. Oh my gosh. Don't step on the creepy boot. I stepped on the creepy <laughs> boot. So the feeling in there is actually, I don't know, me and White were kind of feeling a little bit in there. What was kind of cool is that we did get a couple of good spikes. It spiked to two, and every time I'd ask them if they could do that, they understood what I was saying. Now the real question is, did they follow us in that hole? Regardless, that was really cool because our device had said hole, almost like they wanted us to go in there. Didn't really find anything besides an old boot, just one boot. I wonder if that's like someone's boot that passed away and they're tied to that one brick and thing. holding them here maybe? Yeah. Communication. Whoa. Communication, we just had some communication. Yeah. No one's ever been in here to do this before. We understand that nobody's been here to have a conversation with you or have tried. The owner here and his family they're trying to survive. Did you just Yeah. I was like stepping, someone just stepped right in that hallway right there. I think what we should do, since the workers, a lot of the people who work here feel super uneasy and they just don't want to go upstairs because a lot of activity happens upstairs. I'm wondering if something did happen when the hotel was up and running. I just want to try and find out, see if we can help Ben. I set this device here in the middle of the room. I just want to know if there is somebody up here who understands what we're saying, or if you're the same person from downstairs. Somebody had said that there's more than one person here, there's more than one spirit. Can you please give us a sign? I also have this device here. It's just a normal ball that lights up if you slightly tap it. I'm going to roll it over there in that hallway. Just light it up, let us know that you're there. We just want to hear you. We want to talk to you. Thank you. Give us some signs. Why is everyone so scared to come up here? Why are you making it hard for these people to work and survive in this building? I was sick. I was sick. Whoa. Is that you? Can you do it again, please? Whoa, oh, dude. Thank you. Is there any way you can move something? Pregnant. I was, I was sick, sick pregnant. pregnant. Did you stay here in this hotel? Was that where you were staying? Can you please give us a sign?
I'm sorry that you were sick while you were pregnant. How long ago was that? Fortune. Yeah. Can you please give us a name? Your name? The woman who was sick and pregnant? Somebody's walking in the hallway. Am I dead? Whoa. Yes, unfortunately you are. Is this the same woman? Dude, think about that. Whoever was talking to us, they said communicate. Amazing. I was sick. Maybe they did die here. They didn't even know they were dead. That's why they were tripping out. They're like, oh, finally, someone can talk to me. Right, like they've been trying to communicate? Yeah. I've got this device here that'll make it a lot easier for you to talk. All of us are gonna ask a couple of questions. And what we would like you to do is speak into this right here, as loud and clear as possible. Okay. I'm gonna do a couple of EVPs. We're gonna ask a couple of questions and see if whoever it is talking to us right now would like to say something in this. Let's start. We want you to walk up to this device and speak loud and clear. Son. I was pregnant. With the sun. It's us. Whoa. Is this the woman that was pregnant? Did you die here? Are you here to harm the people who work here? How many people or spirits are still here in this building? Okay. Let's listen to this. Is this the woman that was pregnant? Yes, it was, or it is. You died here. Are you here? Whoa. Stacy! That's the a name. name! Whoa. Stacy, do you know what is going on around here? Is there a spirit that's trying to get the people who own this place out of here? Can you give us a sign if that's correct? Power. Power. Whoa! You guys do realize that the spirit is cutting their power from a bunch of the stuff downstairs to get them out. Wow. That is some information right there. Thank you, Stacy. It killed your camera too and one of my lights. Yes. So what do they want? What are they looking for? Planning. Planning. You just said planning? Yeah. You asked how she got here and did you use a plan? Do you know the owner here? You must see him on a daily basis. You must see the whole family here. I'm gonna ask a couple more questions, see if we can pick up a little bit more information. Yeah. The woman, can you say your name again here in this device in front of me? Again, did you die here? Is there something evil here that's shutting off all the power? That's amazing. Can you stop holding on to that, please? Just let it stop lighting up. Let go completely, please. Maybe you could do that to the other one on top of the stairs. Honest. Honest. All the way off. Dude? Oh no my way. god. Thank There's you. There's no way. Thank you so much. Now you can light it up again if you want. We're just trying to see if that's actually you and you understand what we're saying. Okay, I'm gonna play this. Thank you! If there's someone, there's definitely someone intelligent in this building. Oh yeah. I hope we're not getting tricked right now.
What about letting that go for a long time again? Can you do that? Don't turn it back on, please. Get out. Whoa, shit! This is now the spirit that's trying to get everybody else out, probably. If you want us to leave, we'll leave the moment you knock that ball down the stairs. You're more than welcome to use the energy out of our cameras. The one that I'm holding, the one that Skylar's holding, and also the one that Wyatt is holding. If you do that, we will leave. Guests. Guests. This used to be a hotel. Literally. Whoa, hold on. Get out. Guests. They don't meaning, know us. we've never been here before. Meaning, they own this building. We're the guests. Everyone who walks into this building is a guest to them. That's insane. That's actually nuts. Okay, I'm gonna listen to this. That was uh, a little bit of a turn. What the? It just said her name. It just said her name. Hang on, I'm gonna replay this. Listen to this, guys. It is so clear. Listen, this is incredible. Go! It just said go. Okay. Okay, we're outside of the room. This is crazy. I'm just trying to listen to this EVP here, and they're saying get out and go. We apologize. We're sorry. Did you hear it? Stacy. Hear it again. I'm gonna slow it down. Did you hear it? Stacy. Yeah. There might be a few other things in there. We're gonna have to really listen to it. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I was just gonna say we're getting like some nuts evidence of like something super intelligent being in here, because something in there told us to get out twice. Yeah, said get out and then go, go. after we didn't get out. Right. So I'm thinking that was a woman. <laughs> No. Dude, that gave me f***ing goosebumps. Someone just said, hey, in there, in the room again. Wait, is your camera in here? his camera's facing us. Oh my god, dude, that just scared the actual shit out of me. Wait, I just heard another. Unless if that's the device going off. What the f*** is that? Was it the device again? Guys, the device said four. Room four. And four of us. Get out, guests four. We're the only ones in this building. Oh, bro. That's Can you right. maybe give us a sign here if you're talking about this room right here? Or are you talking about how many guests you see here in this hotel? Oh, thing went up. I got it. Was that a yes? For which one, though? Let's try this. Maybe you can answer through this device right here in my hand. Are you talking about the four of us? Are you talking about room four? Nothing. Should we try this room anyway? See what happens? Yeah, I'd be down. We're gonna make our way into room four because we're not sure what you were talking about. Is there somebody in there? Attached. 
Oh no. Attached to the building? There's something in the building? What the f was that? Yo, that was some knocking, dude. Oh no. Hello? I don't know where that came from, but that was over here yeah. in like this general area. All the workers, whenever they come up here, this is where. Ooh, what was that? That was getting. That was fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever they come up here, this is where they feel the weirdest. Ben also told me that up here, people get touched a lot when he's up here by himself and shit. He'll feel someone like full hand grab his shoulder and stuff. No way. Yeah. Can you tell us where you are? We were on our way to room four until we started hearing some knocks over in this general area. And then we started to hear thumping, what sounded like somebody was either walking down the stairs. Talking. Or talking. We heard a voice. Guys. Yeah. Who's in there? Do that again. Suicide. Oh my god! We've never gotten that through the device, ever. And Skyler said that. Skyler did say it. That was his theory a second ago. Is that why you're still here? Give us a sign, please, if that's correct. Okay, that is very odd. So Stacy, we were in Stacy's room, we were sitting there, and we were trying to ask a couple of questions, and Skylar had said maybe she had Took unfortunately her taken her own life. And now the device had said exactly what Skylar had said. Stacy, is that you? Yo, dude. Holy my, shit. My EMF ticked right before that, too. That was a huge spike. That was spike. a giant spike, yeah. I felt that in my body. Yeah, literally. Same. Wow, that's sad. Is it? It's not just you though, huh, Stacy? Who else is here? Because I don't know if you're the one who's been shutting out the power downstairs to get people out of here. Unless if it is you, can you please give us a sign if that's you? Stacy, in room number three. Were you the one who took your own life? Attached. Bro. What? I keep saying I'm like I hear knocking like someone's in that room. I swear to f God, I just heard a man through the other side of the wall just say something to us. A dude. That is the most clear yes we have ever captured. No. -uh. In room number three, were you the one who took your own life? Did you hear it? Uh huh. Who else is here? I don't know. I Nobody like said anything right there. Uh -huh. No. I feel like it's not just Stacy here. No, I'm getting like at all. Out. Watch the door knock back. Somebody else has suffered. suffered. She took her life. Who knows what else? Yo, know, this is wild. I feel like the reason why we're getting so much evidence right here is because this is her area. Stacy, if you can, we are here to try to find out who the evil entity is that keeps sabotaging all of the stuff here. Can you please help us? Maybe let us know who it is. Maybe she's friends with whoever this is. Yeah. What the f was that? Did you just hear that dog? Yeah. It's 
Like if someone broke into your house, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And you're like hiding from them. That, that like panicky feeling? That gut feeling. That's how I'm starting to feel. We're calling to the one who likes to shut all the devices off downstairs, the equipment. And it's just like started happening out the whole time that we were up here? A little bit. Help us. Whoa. And then there's that. Battery dead. Battery dead. I just changed it. Stacy. We need to know, can you give us a number? Who else is in here? How many of you are there? Oh, oh my oh shit. god! I got that. You were right. He's here. Some ain't right up here. Everett. 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 It gives us a name as soon as that gets knocked down. Dude, that name literally gave me chills. I don't know what's going on with me right now. Everett. Are you the one who wants everybody out of here? Is this your building? Oh my god! Holy shit! The EMF went. Dude, that scared the f out of Skyler. <laughs> wow. Why? Why is that? There's no way we can make peace here, can we? Is that really your name, Everett? Do you guys not hear that? You don't hear that. Hear what? That dude. Is he speaking to you? I don't know. I keep hearing a dude. I got the, I'm feeling weird, man. That would be weird. Oh my god. Devil! It oh just my devil, god. Bro. Dude, I just went in there and somebody went. <gasps> Did you hear it? You didn't say anything. You didn't do it. You didn't gasp, but you didn't. You didn't do anything, right? Mm -mm. Please tell me the truth. You mm -mm. didn't. Mm -mm. No, none of us. Hang on. I think Stacy was telling us to go into room four. Unless if you on the other side. Is said no. Ball. It just said no. She doesn't want us to go into four. Get out Maybe of that's Get out where of the four. evil spirit is. Four, dude. My whole body just you chilled up, it. dude. <laughs> it just said no. Something's, something's up here and something is not happy, brother. Are you in room number four? Is that the evil one? Satanic. Oh my f god, dude. Hold is on. Stacy saying that, they're, that she's friends with this guy? Dude, this hold, thing? Hold on. When you were going into room number four, that started going off. I feel like she was trying to draw us back in She was trying to, to get us to come there. back. Literally. Who did she say then that we're friends? Maybe she was or was that the evil spirit? Maybe she was talking to us. Maybe hold the EVP in here. Dude, I swear on everything when I walked in there. That's why I needed to come back because I wanted to know if, if you just took a deep breath. like. But it sounded like it was right in front of me. And I could feel it. Throw that in there. Portal. Portal? Whoa, who's in here? If you're in here, as soon as that goes off, light it back up. The door just slams. I'd be bummed. I'm gonna set the CVP recorder on the corner of that table. Come right here. Ask a couple of questions. I don't feel good in here. This is like not right, it doesn't feel right. Is there somebody in this room right now? Are you trying to push everyone out of this building? How did you get here? The building. Said, the it. building. He said, if that's your room, claim it. That is true. Is this building yours? I'm gonna go get it.
when you went in there, what did you hear for the first time? That's what that sounds like. I was just, I was just gonna say that. That's what it sounds like, huh? And there's two answers. I think there's one at the very end and one in the middle. Okay. Wow. Listen, one more time. Oh. Him! Oh no my way. She's like, yo, that's him. him. Just said a table. Ryan just set it on that table over oh, there. Oh shit! The desk. I'm gonna do it one more time. Is there a man here in this room? Do you not want these people in this building? Did you claim this building for yourself? Are you angry? When I'm standing in here, it doesn't feel at all how it felt when I did walk in here. When I first walked in here. I think so. Is that you, Stacy? That was in the room that we just came out of. Hello? The man, the evil one, is this your room? Dude, we keep hearing noises back and forth. What is the plan, guys? We've got proof, dude. Somebody pushed the ball down the stairs. Yeah. Somebody told us, maybe, I'm, I'm assuming Stacy told us room number four is where he likes to stay. He also does move around the whole place. Mm -hmm. He moves things. Whatever or whoever he is, I can feel it. It feels like intimidating. It feels Weird. Yeah, it does. Makes when I sense. walked in here, I felt like somebody approached me and they said, <sighs> like just a breath, yeah. and I heard it. Well, not only that, that's what it sounded like on the EVP. But I feel like he's kind of like just been lurking and watching us or something, you know? Yeah. And he kind of knows what's going on and shit. I don't think he really wants to talk to us. I think the only thing that's missing is one of us like being grabbed on our shoulder. Literally. Or pushed. Or pushed. They, pushed. they said pushed twice. Yeah. Maybe that's because there's so many of us. I think we should take a, a minute. Come up with a little game plan. Find out how we are going to help Ben here because they need help, man. They need something, you know? So our job here is to do our best. We've got the evidence. We know they're here. Now we gotta find out what we can do to- Grandfather. Dude, what oh. the <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. Man. I'm mind blown. My dude. There might be like Way more than we're thinking in here. Oh yeah, definitely. I got an idea. I agree with you. Let's go back downstairs. Get out of this heat for a second for one. We'll go down there, take five, ten minutes, calm the f We'll go over everything that we got here. Yeah. And, and see who the hell needs to go. Dude, that's twice, bro. Alright, let's come up with a game plan. Yeah. So let's go. Okay, so we had some time to talk. And we have a couple of more devices so that we can see if we can gather a little bit more information because we have no idea really like what we're messing with. We don't know who we're messing with. We know there's Stacy and we know there's somebody evil. 
there could potentially be more spirits as well. Right now, I think what we're gonna try to do is focus solely on the evil. Maybe Stacy can give us more. Is there? I heard a creak in there. Mm -hmm. It was loud. Stacy, if you can, this device right here that is set on the ground, can you let us know that you're here? Yes or no? All you have to do is touch it when it's on the yes or when it's on the no. Can we gather some more information from you? Please. This is gonna let us know if somebody is near us. Whoa! Hang on. There's no way. That might have been- No! Whoa! Look at that! Did you see the dial all the way? That's the Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it maxed out. All the way up! Someone just walked right past it. It wasn't going that high when you were in the hole, were you? No. It only went to two. That's well over 50. Who made that thump downstairs? Whoa. Yeah. There's lots of noises down there. Huh. That should not be maxing out. No. That's no, that's, that's crazy. Can you come over here, please? I was filming that, guys. I have our music box right down there on the floor. We're using that as a trigger object. I'm not gonna necessarily explain it to anyone, just in case if somebody does walk by it. That'll let us know if they are over there as well. Can you come over here and tap on this device? This one right here, right on the floor. Right now we're looking for somebody to tap it and make it say yes, that they are here with us right now. Please. I hear stepping. <laughs> Whoa. Are you next to us? That just went twice, did you see that? It went do, do. Here, I'm gonna back it on the wall, just so it's away. Is there somebody evil here? That thing's holding a solid spike. Are they in this vicinity? Are they near us? Why can't you tap on that device and make it say yes or no? Whoa. Music box. Is that you right there? Knock down that ball again. Please. Or make that device on the railing go off. Oh, no way. No. Oh, no shit. Way. Whoa. Whoa. That's two. Holy shit, that just gave me the chills. Maybe we need to go there. Is that where we should go? What was that noise? Did you see that? No. That was weird. You know it's funny? That thing's been going nuts, right? But as soon as the music box, and then the ball and the REM pod, it hasn't moved. So what, they walked they over there? And like they were here and went over there and did all that. Can you walk in front of that music box again? The one on the floor? That's wild, because all that does is turn a movement in front of it. And the odds that that went off, the ball, and then... The REM pod. That's what I'm saying. That thing still hasn't moved. It was going nuts. Well, that was pretty crazy. What is it that you want? Thank you for knocking the ball down the stairs again. Thank you for showing us that you can physically move things. Toy. Toy. Again. again? It's the, the same ball. thing. Dude, the first time the ball went down the stairs, they said toy. Uh -huh. The second time the ball goes down the stairs, they say toy. Whoa. And that's different phone, different device. Yep. Yeah. That's wild. Okay. What is it that you want? Why are you here? Why are you trying to push people away from here? Darkness. Darkness. Whoa, that just gave me the chills. Yeah. What is it that you want? If you're trying to cause harm to other people, to the people who are working here, to the family, that's not gonna work. I just heard that. 
My camera just turned off. It did? Yeah. Did it die? Yeah, it's dead. You had more battery than I do. I it's dead. Two, I have two bars. Dare. 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 Like they dare us to try to do something? He's got two bars? Wait a second. Wait, what? Dare us to go all dark. All lights <gasps> out. Darkness. No way. What? Wow. What was that? That, that? that thing was at two bars. We were just talking about that. Before and we get even... this, they already started it for us. They shut off his camera. What the f To shut out the lights. That's really weird. Is yeah. that what you want? You want us to turn off this big light and only be in the dark? Don't move. Don't move. We were in this exact same spot when it said that. Literally. What happens if we go all lights out? What are you gonna do? Begin. No way. Begin? Begin? Begin what? Lights out. I don't I think know. they want us to turn the lights out for sure. Should we? I'm almost scared to. Shut that thing off real quick. Okay, we're gonna go lights out then. Let's see what happens. You've got your wish. Can you please give us the information that we're looking for now? Will you give us that conversation? Everett. Oh, mother Is that the man's name? Yes. That's the same name. It just said no same name different way. phone. Everett. On, on a different phone. Begin, Everett. They want us to go lights out. Dude, someone's gonna hurt us. Someone's gonna hurt us. There's a big old orb that just came in between all of us. No way. Yeah, no bullshit. Everett, is this you? You gotta what? prove to us right now. I'm feeling uneasy. Yeah, dude. No wonder why people don't come up here. Why you scared me with the second one? I think I have two of them. I want to let you know to whomever is trying to push people out of this building, you can no longer do so. The owner is okay with other spirits here that don't mean any harm. But for the evil one here, it's time to go. This is no longer your home. Did you guys just see that? I didn't see it. No, I. Were I you did, filming that? I was recording over there. Yeah, dude, you weren't in front of it. No, I didn't even get near it. I'm gonna do exactly what I did. That, why is it moving? You didn't. No, 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 nobody really? touched it. Why is it moving? Did you not see it rocking? Yeah. You didn't touch that? No. Happened here. Happened here? What happened here? Please continue to give us more information. Why is this spirit here and angry? What did it say? Said no. No talking. Wow. No. Do you not want to talk to us? Wait, that's not everything. Now this starts going off? Yeah. Is this Stacy? Yes! It says yes! It is yes! Stacy, can you give us some information, please, about the evil one here? Are you okay with that? No. Why not? Are you afraid of this evil spirit? Yes. That was so fast. Yes! Twice! Will he try to harm you if you talk about him? Yes. Whisper. No talking. Whisper. Oh, like he'll hear us. Do you want us to whisper because you're... Are you afraid this evil entity will find us? Yes. Should we leave? Yeah, what was that? Wow. 
just said yes. I said, should we leave? Why do you want us to leave? Can you use your words, please? What? Did you not hear that creak? Was it right down there? Right around this corner. I told you. I told you. Is there somebody right in front of me? Can you walk in front of this? Please. So much activity and now it's like they're waiting for something. I think whoever is trying to push everybody out of this building, I think he's afraid of what we're gonna do. I just have that like feeling, you know? Yeah. So he's like trying to stay distant. You don't belong here. You cannot stay here. The evil one. No. This family, they use this building. They need this building. And you're making it hard for them. I'm gonna try something. Okay. No. No. I said no again. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Did you just tap that? No. Okay. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. In the name of Jesus, I command you to go. In the name of Jesus, I expel you. In the name of Jesus, I command you to never return. Me. Oh my God. Whoa. I'm gonna try it again. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. In the name of Jesus, I command you to go. In the name of Jesus, I expel you. In the name of Jesus, I command you to never return. a voice it says like burn or something or make me no it just said no you hear that make me make me make me he said never yeah never Make figure. me figure. figure. Oh, dude, my arms are starting to dude, f weird. chill. Uh, can I turn back on my light? Okay. This is wild. You cannot be here anymore. You don't belong here. You will leave this family alone and let them run their business in peace. Dude, it keeps saying no. It just keeps saying no. It has not said yes once. Wow, dude. Go away. Yes? Oh my god, dude. 
the other spirits that are here and don't mean any harm, you're more than welcome to stay. Yes. The spirits, if you can hear me, you need to push this evil out. Please, use your energy and push them out. They don't need to be here. They're making things miserable for this family. Yo. I'm starting to get this like weird feeling that like right now would be the best time to cleanse. Just start like Palo Santo would start oh, saging. Battery dead. Dude, everything is dead. This is brand new. I just put it in. Yes. Maybe that's the other spirits talking to us. Will you help us? Can you tell us yes? Please. No. Yes, both. Start arguing. I think the evil one's saying no. Oh my god, dude! Oh, what is going on? Okay, are you here to help? Are you ready? We need to get this evil out. We need to get them out of here, dude. Now is the perfect time to start sage in this place. It's time to cleanse. This family needs us, man. They need something, dude. I say we do it. You have Palo Santo. Let's go. Okay, so all of our cameras are dying. Right now is the best time to use some Palo Santo wood, try and cleanse this place, because whatever just happened, we feel like it's the perfect time. We got this huge gust of energy, almost as if these other spirits are ready to try and help us push whatever it is out. So the goal is to start upstairs, make our way downstairs and see what we can do. To any of the spirits who are here, who wanna stay, who wanna protect this building, who don't mean any harm, you're more than welcome to stay. To any of the spirits who are also wanting to leave, please follow along. We're gonna try and help you out as well. The good spirits, the ones who don't mean harm, we need your help. We need to push this negative energy out. Help us, please. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. In the name of Jesus, we command you to quietly go. In the name of Jesus, we expel you. In the name of Jesus, we command you to never return. Did you hear that? Yeah. They sound pissed. Yeah, they do. Oh, oh, your thing's sliding. We command you to go. Oh, it's all the way up, all the way up. Dude, do you guys hear that? Oh, dude, they're pissed, bro. Look at that thing. I was going crazy. Whoa! Shit. In the name of Jesus, we bind you. In the name of Jesus, we command you to quietly go. Did you just do oh. that? No shit. That's the room I heard before. Hold on. In the name of Jesus, we expel you. Get out of room one. Did you just your two thumbs, dude? There's no way. Go. No. No, you did not touch that I door. Swear to God, I you didn't. did not touch I swear that to God, door. I swear on everything. I saw it with my eyes. Oh my God, did you hear that? We're gonna have to go through all these rooms real quick, boys. It's time to go. The spirits that want to stay, the good spirits, you can stay. In the name of Jesus, we command you to never return. Yo, this is wild. Mm -hmm. We haven't done this in a long time. Mm -hmm. It feels crazy. Do you feel it lightning a little bit now? I do. I do. But I feel like, like you said, they're evading us or whoever it is. They're running away from us. You're no longer welcome here. You gotta go. Let's hit the downstairs. I'm gonna open the door. I'm probably gonna put a pod in front of it. Just. Just to see? Just to see. Once I open this door, if any spirits want to leave as well, if you want to move on, it's time. It's time to go. Leave. Please. Out this door. You have to go. You cannot follow us. You cannot stay with us. Go to the light. You're no longer welcome here. This is not your home. There's like footstep noises, like hmm. they're... I think that was it, dude. 
It was like a gust. Could you imagine if that many spirits wanted to... Never mind. I think that was him. That was a strong one. I felt that Did one. Did you guys hear the door? Mm -hmm. It almost like sounded like it expanded and then... Yeah. It went... Like it flexed. I'm mind blown what just happened. I can't believe all that. We didn't hear those kinds of noises down no, here when we were investigating. All. And then all of a sudden? Until we kicked everything out. Okay, Ghost Gang, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We're really praying and hoping that this family will have a better company, not so much disaster happening all the time to them. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy a family nightmare episode after we have not done one for at least over a year, please show us by getting this video to 25,000 likes because that lets us know that you do want us to continue doing these family episodes. Also, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel and keep finding yourselves coming back because you do like what we do, hit that subscribe button. Join the ghost gang because we got some crazy episodes coming down the road. I mean, this one was pretty good, dude. Let's just be honest. This one was pretty intense. I'm actually really excited to hear, you know, later down the road how this place is doing. Mm -hmm. If it's doing good, I'm so happy. If it's not, I'm going to be bummed out. We tried our best. You guys know we did. You can only do so much. Hope you guys also enjoyed Skyler hanging out with us, doing an investigation. Let us know down in the comments if you guys want him to come on more of these investigations because we love when he's around. Anyways, we will see you next week. Peace. So there was a man that died upstairs. That was our electrician's great grandfather. Our spirit box said grandfather twice. Oh, no way, dude. Yeah. That was him then because Ken's a real nice guy. Like he is really nice. He's like, yeah, my great my great grandfather died up here. I have to tell you that when I came in, it was, it felt so much cleaner. Like I don't feel anything in here downstairs right now at all. I haven't went upstairs. Yeah, I, I don't feel anything. I think you guys are phenomenal. I've seen your stuff before with Rachel. I'll tell you, like I said, it's, it's certainly cleaner. I would have to say that if you guys did not come in here and cleanse the building and find out and communicate that, we would have still had things continually going on. Whatever we can do to help you guys further yourselves along, because you definitely need more notoriety than than what you're getting because when I can walk into a building and it feels this clean, that means a lot.